So welcome back everybody to Web Gaming Central. We are of course in Mass Effect 1, continue our playthrough, we're going to rescue, well, I don't know if it's rescue or whatever you want to call it since I'm not giving away any spoilers, but we're going to see about the Matriarch's Daughter, which is some information you should already know if you've been watching all the videos. In the process we have to navigate this planet. I think she's in an archaeological dig site. Um, and again, did I mention that she is an awesome creature? And I'll explain to you guys why I'm so much in love with her. Never mind. Let me wait till we get there before I talk more. Just for those who... Oh my god, we're gonna go into lava. <laughs> right, so for those of you who have not played this or have not seen this game, I'm really gonna be better at not saying spoilerific things. <clears throat> Don't really think I've done anything super spoilerific, but even situational or, you know, in this game as far as, like, the map we're on, I try not to give away things. Um, so, okay. I took care of those guys uh, down the way. So I'm gonna be better at that. <clears throat> Again, you know, <clears throat> I played this game so much and I've really soaked so much in this game that it's like, <laughs> everything is second nature for me as far as, you know, everything, just about. Um, whoa! Sorry for all the jumping, but these little jerks. Ah! Oh crap. He can't hit me though. Cool, because he's back there. Well, that changes. And you can see my health at the bottom uh, left of the screen of the Mako, the little Mako icon thing. The little blue things are my shield, or the thing surrounding the Mako is my shield. There we go. If I was to actually start taking damage in different parts of my vehicle on that little graphic down to the left, would start to turn red. Um, so I'm pretty good at keeping this thing up and running. And again, I'm not really playing it on a very high difficulty. Not that I don't even think they do have difficulty. Yes, they do have difficulty. Do they have difficulty? I don't know why I care, but I do. Let's see. Um, it's graphics. <laughs> what in the world? Yes, I do. Or they do. Yeah, I, I just, um, you know, I don't really want to play for the sake of difficulty. So I'm going to play for the sake of the story especially for you guys and because I'm, I'm trying to go through the whole series so any slowdowns in combat would just be you know pointless at this point so yeah no new armor for me <coughs> pardon me or them uh, I don't think right now they all have that storm nothing new that well let me look at it right this is what we have here ooh Oh, I have Hammerhead too, but I was looking for the, um, which one was it? High Caliber? <sighs> See, improved sighting that gives me accuracy bonuses. Um, how much Omni Gel do I have? 41? Okay. That's decent, and credits are just pitiful, but anyway. So I'll try not to be in the, the upgrade screen too much either, because that can get a little bit, uh, yeah. But I think we're good. Let's keep it going. I like the secondary zoom. It feels a little more, makes you feel a little more in control. But I mean, this, this game, oh man, there's so much nostalgia. But even still, even in this year, 2013, it, this game is just, I love it. I love it, and in many ways, uh, oh, let's take a look at that. Oh, hee hee. I'm not gonna run him over too. Got you. Hee hee hee. All right. Um, yeah, it's just you know, anyone who has not played this game, you are. You know, hopefully you're watching. You you are definitely playing one of the greatest games ever made. Or watching one of the greatest games ever made. Trilogy, that much more so. And uh, 
you know, I love doing stuff like this, you know, and, and I don't really look at the views. I, I can care less, actually, when it comes to this game. This is all about fun uh, at this point, and <laughs> that's the thing I, I, uh, it can be one view on this video, and I uh, would still be, you know, playing it with such passion because I love it. I do! And I'm trying to talk, you know, so that in a way that I don't spoil things, because otherwise, I mean, I, I have a great desire right now to talk about the story, everything, all that stuff, but I'm not going to do that. Whoa! If anything, I'll wait to the end of when we beat this and take that time to talk about it. And the great thing is, in part two, I'll be able to go back and reference a lot of what happened in this one. So that'll be my opportunity to talk a lot, I guess. But we've reached as far as we can go with the Mako. So we're going to jump out, pull out our weapons. I'm going to get my assault rifle. And we're going to get moving. <clears throat> and I have the high res on, if you can't tell. That's definitely high res and uh, Garrus face is the only thing that doesn't seem to translate well to high res <laughs> but I think they actually let me say it this way I have the ultra graphics setting there is an ultra mod ultra graphics mod oh crap Shepard's been hit. Whoa, whoa 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 F that was a good shot so all right. Um. There's another guy back there, isn't it? Yes, it is. There is another graphics mod that is really um takes. I think it takes it to another level. Thing is, what you'll see with that mod, it, it takes on more of the Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3 graphics style. No, don't take that for face value because it's not completely like a reskinning to that degree. Unless I'm totally mistaken. Ooh, hello. Here we have a sniper. Oh, now what I was going for. Okay. What I'm going to use here. Ah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A sniper, which I'm going to take care of. Um, I think. Down. Ooh. Yeah, Garris took a plunge. Got him. We're gonna try to take another shot. Did I get him? I might have. No, I did not. Yes, I did. We have another jerk around here somewhere. I'm definitely gonna take this shot. Thank you. Alright, give me my Yes. We got them all, Shepard. Can't we kill them all? Our guys automatically respawn. Oh, I get another shot. So, let's keep it moving. Um, for some reason, this planet just looks gorgeous, even though it's pretty desolate. It's just nice. It's just nice! So, nothing over there. Yes, there is something over here. Oh yeah, there we go. Just looking up there. I think that's the dig site, actually. Is that a blue sun? So it looks like we're coming up on something a little bit suspect. Let's just make sure. Oh, I think I remember this part. Yep, that looks like a blue. Oh, that's just a light, I think. Uh oh. I think 
think they added um, update to the latest version of this, which gives it whoa, gives it that uh. Death shot. Okay, so apparently these guys don't like us much. Um, let's try to um, first put the shield on. Eight to five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, smart move. Uh, let's see. Eight. Uh, you might want to move. Crap, he's done. Garrus. Garrus, that wasn't quite the smartest thing to do. Ah! Okay, let me help this guy out, cause... Ah! Alright, let's go ahead and unity the situation. This part is gonna be interesting, though. Uh, yes. Walking this way, this is not a happy situation. Of course Garrus took another one to the face. That's just awesome. Let's shoot this. Okay. Five. Ah! Oh, good. Shoot, 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 shoot! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Alright, we're gonna use that unity once more. And eight for shields. Shoot it. Of course, Garrus died right away. Right. Garrus, you are in the most precarious situation there. Great, I'm overheated. Oh my god. Ew. Good thing this thing doesn't destroy. Got you. Ooh, that was close. Okay. All Fine. targets down. Yeah, you know, Garrus, next time. That was my fault, because I could have actually had him stand right here like a genius would have normally done. Uh, but of course, I left him out there to make choices on his own. But Karis is normally better than that. And that was my fault. But let's go ahead and uh, go down this wonderfully dangerous uh, dig site. <laughs> Alright, so is this where we shall find the wonderful Liara Tashuni? I have no idea. But we should find out, shall not we? Shall oh, actually, I think. I don't know, guys. I like pistols. For whatever reason. I, you know. Whoa, hello. Good job, guys. That will die already there, buddy. Oh, there's another guy, isn't this? Where are you I at? Think we're good, oh, I must have killed him. Must have killed him. You know what? I'd rather have my, uh... <laughs> As you see, I'm having a hard time choosing. There's nothing over here. It's not really so much I've expiration. I've never visited a Prothean ruin before. Aside from the Citadel, I mean. Oh, well, awesome. You guys will never tire of the banter. Yeah, let's go even lower. It's just awesome. But this is interesting, though. Nice little dick site. Of course. Who does this kind of stuff? Oh, I know. I don't know. I'm expecting some trouble. Naturally. Garrus. He was already low enough. Got to get him out. <laughs> Apparently they do. Okay. No. Oh. Interesting. Okay. 
Ah, uh, look who's there. Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Looky, Please. looky. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! Your mother is working with Sarah. Uh, whoopsie! Whose side are you on? What? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. This should be interesting. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, of course she is. Of course. Hostile contact. Well, I guess it would be nice to heal up yours, right? Good shot, buddy. Take it. We need to get down there fast. No, this gun just doesn't like me anymore. Uh, not that one. Oh, ouch. Took a rocket to the face. Oh, oh these guys were close together, weren't they? Oh. Got you, buddy. I think that's it. But you know what? Clear. One thing I've never done was actually look throughout this whole area back here. There's not much back here. Hey, well, looky, looky. Oh my god. Cool! Got it. Okay. Can look around. Okay. Not much there. Oh, did I see something else? Yes, I did. Easy encryption. Got that one too. Banshee. Nice. Alanis Risk Control. Alright, so let's get back. Let's get back. Shall we? <coughs> Here we are. Mining laser controls. Alright. Okay. Okay. Whoops. Eh? Uh, right, right, no, 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 I got it! Well, look at us. Quite the rescuers. Quite the rescues we are. Rescuers we are. Okay. Not the elevator. Oh, there she is. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Any 
any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker! Get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. Yeah, but um, I guess the most appealing thing about her... I'm a geek. She's a geek. She's awesome! Yeah. Anyway. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Sure isn't. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Ooh, pretty bad. Whoa. Oh, sorry, Rex. Bring it on. How about we switch guns for this? No gears. Spare the Asari. Alright, let's try this again. Thank you. Oh, we just got hit with the biotic attack. I'm gonna have to like it right now. So you go with eight for shields. Oh, eight. I can press it. Eight. Oh my god. There she is. Now let's talk.
Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope <laughs> I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. <laughs> of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. 
When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Of course you are, of course. Okay, so. There we go. We've rescued our Liara. And so happy am I. Sweet. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Uh -huh. Speak right. freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. <coughs> Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. Hmm. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Interesting. Okay. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. I've got a renegade point. <laughs> he didn't mean to do that. Okay. So talk to Joker. We're gonna end the video after we do that, and we'll talk to the rest of our crew. Once we come back. I, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. <laughs> so, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Um, nope, that's it. I have to go. Alright, see ya. Okay, oh, let's grab that one. Okay, so let's actually do a little bit of around the ship here, as you want to do this after every mission, of course. So let's do that. Some more talking to do. We have to talk to Liara for the first time. I can't wait. Let's come down here. No, not yet. Let's talk to our crew. Let's talk to our crew. Commander, do you have a minute? I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The <laughs> Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. 
It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. I mean, it's funny, we finally get out here, and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves, or... You know, for justice. Maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in BOT. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Hmm. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Hmm. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. We'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana, who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Ma'am. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Okay. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. We have to depend on each other in combat. I like knowing what kind of man I have at my back. I understand, ma'am. I won't let you down. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? No, no I don't. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that. Uh, did I just flirt? Oh, what the heck? Anyway, you know, I'm thinking, because I did the Liara romance before, I might just, uh, as difficult as this will be for me, you know, I just have to imagine that, you know, I have to imagine that's not me, for one, uh, and just role play, I guess, as this uh, beautiful shepherd I have, and uh, probably just go with Caden or something, I guess. Um, I don't know. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No. I should go. 
Goodbye, Commander. I should go. So I'm thinking about let, let me know what you guys prefer. Should I romance Liara? Should I romance uh should I let her romance Caden? Or should I wait for Mass Effect 2 and romance some others? I don't know. Just let me know, guys. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous lifeforms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well... That is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. <laughs> what? No! I did not mean to insinuate... Uh, I never meant I to offend that. you, Shepard. <laughs> I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Oh. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. That is... Joking? Awesome. Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. <laughs> Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. Hmm. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. 
But it is not an essential element of the Union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits on to our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the Union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve <laughs> as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Hmm. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The Union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Cool. I should go. I think I will actually Goodbye, stick Shepherd. with Liara. I don't know, I'm just so drawn to her character. But, um, I still want to hear what you guys' thoughts are, that's for sure. But, um, yeah. And we're going to come back in the next video to go ahead and uh, talk with the rest of our crew. So stay tuned for that, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys are awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.